now to weather in our forecast. Beautiful sunshine after all that rain. Derek, lovely skies out there, but they're not going to last too, too long. Yeah, not going to last too long, Randy, because enjoy these next couple of days. We got changes, big changes, that is, as we head into Friday. We'll talk about that a little bit later, but right now, enjoy this beautiful view that we're seeing here from New Orleans. We got a crystal clear blue sky, plenty of sunshine, and very comfortable temperatures as well. In fact, check out our current readings. We're into uh, the 70s mainly, even Slidell, a little bit warmer than some of us at 81 degrees. Meanwhile, Kenner's at 72. Hammond currently reporting 76. Our afternoon high temperatures today rising into those mid to upper 70s. Some of us reaching the lower 80s here today. So as far as our weather is concerned, we're being under the influence of this uh, weak area of high pressure in the atmosphere. That's the reason why things are looking so quiet and calm and overall pretty sunny here at the moment. Now, as we take you into tonight, we're still expecting mostly clear skies to take shape. We may see some increasing clouds just a little bit as we we head into the day tomorrow and as we head into tomorrow night, we're going to be looking at the uh, southeast wind motion taking shape that could help increase our cloud coverage a little bit more. Now, as we head into Friday, this is where the bigger changes are on the way. You can see some scattered pop up showers, maybe a few thunderstorms into early in the day on Friday out ahead of this cold front that's moving in at about around two o'clock in the afternoon. You can see some scattered showers and thunderstorms firing up across southeastern Louisiana, and this continues as we head into Friday afternoon as well into Friday night. Maybe a few lingering showers and storms can't be completely ruled out as this cold front inches closer towards us and out ahead of it. That's where we're going to see the majority of our moisture here behind the cold front. Much cooler air moves in and conditions will be a little bit drier for us to work with as well. But some of those thunderstorms could contain some large hail, some damaging winds. That is why we're under this level two slight risk of severe weather here for Friday and not in addition to that as well. We're looking at a slight risk of flooding here for South Southeastern Louisiana, so that's something to bear in mind here as well. That's a level two risk here for flooding uh, as well. So the rainfall forecast doesn't look particularly impressive, but that doesn't mean we won't see necessarily flooding. It's just showing that uh, through Saturday we could be approaching around a half inch or more in some spots, and I'm sure that will probably change here as we get closer towards the forecast. But in the meantime, this weekend after those storms move through, we are looking cooler here and an area of high pressure towards the west is going to start to build in here too by Sunday. So that's going to help give us mainly quiet weather conditions overall for us to work with as we head into Monday and also into your day on Tuesday. All right, one more thing I do want to show you is that uh, we may be turning a little foggy here as we head into Thursday morning. We got some dense fog that could develop across portions of the South Shore heading into early Thursday morning that could affect your morning commute. And then as you can see by 11 a.m. on Thursday, we're much better here in terms of the fog. Your WDSU first warning seven day forecast looks like this with high temperatures remaining into the 70s. Good rain chances at 60% for Friday. We do have a uh, WDSU first warning weather impact day that could be upgraded to an alert day though for Friday if conditions worsen. So we'll keep the update on that. Don't forget the time change this weekend. And then after that behind that cold front, high temperatures drop to the 60s Sunday and Monday.